Welcome to my channel, Bienvenidos, to my channel, Love, Queen of Wands. Today we're doing a tarot reading and an EVP reading for Alexis Ware. Now, Alexis is a 29-year-old who went missing, I believe it was January, and she was last seen at a 7-Eleven gas station in Anderson, South Carolina. Her car was later found miles away. Now, I'm going to be posting on the description below uh, timestamps for the beginning of the tower reading and for the EVP session which are going to be two separate things. So before I get started, I just want to thank everybody for watching. And I know there are very few who are returning to my channel. And I just want to let you know that I see you. And thank you so much for supporting my channel. Um, if, you like to, if you like these tarot readings, the EVPs, um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So I want to get a little bit, you know, I want to talk a little bit about the case before I get started. So as far as I know, <clears throat> so I'm looking at this article, and, and as far as I know, um, it seemed that she was acting a little strange before her missing, before she went missing. Um, I believe her mom was saying that she was saying things like, um, I'm not going to make it to my 30th birthday. And I believe she said she was being watched or, you know, something like that. So I'm, I'm trying to get Okay. Yeah, so she was saying she that she said stuff like she didn't feel like she was going to make it to see her her birthday. So that's kind of a little bit of foreshadowing and that's kind of scary how sometimes you have this intuition, you say things and you don't realize that you're actually foreshadowing something that's going to happen. Um It's almost like if the soul knows you're going to be gone or missing and I've heard multiple stories of people who passed away saying weird things before they passed away anyway so she was saying that that late that Saturday night January 29th 2022 Alexis talked about being followed she sat here and cried she wasn't telling me exactly what was going on. It's like she knew something was going on. She felt like something was going to happen to her. Again, that intuition, I wouldn't be surprised if she was an, an empath and she was very intuitive with herself and she wasn't aware how intuitive of a person she is. The next day... Alexis Ware vanished. That gives me the goosebumps. She definitely knew something was up. Let's see. And she said she left around noon that Sunday. And then I called her to check on her around three. Alberta is her mother. That's her mother's name, Alberta. I saw that she was laying in her bed because I did a video chat. She answered right away and she was laying on her bed taking a nap. A few hours later, Alberta said she got a call from the father of Alexis's youngest child. She has two children. She's a mother of two. At around 7.30 p.m., Alberta knew right away that something was wrong. He asked me, have I spoke with her? And he was explaining that they had met at the gas station. She gave him the children. 
But, Alberto said, it was because of the way they parted ways that caused him to have some concern. Alberta told that after getting gas, Alexis planned on following him to his mother's home before heading back to Alberta's house. Instead, after giving him the kids, Alberta said she actually shot around him with the high rate of speed and made a quick, a quick right at the red light and took off from there. Alberta said that the father of Alexis' younger child, youngest child told her that he tried calling her but couldn't get a hold of her. So after a few tries, he called Alberta. Alberta tried calling Alexis herself, but the call went straight to voicemail. The last no sighting of Alexis Ware is at the 7-Eleven gas station of Highway 29 in Anderson, South Carolina on January 30th. Okay. All right. Okay. Now we're going to start with the EVP session. Okay. Welcome to those who are tuning into the EVP session. I have the timestamp below in the description box. For my tarot, for my EVP, this is the EVP session, Electronic Voice Phenomenon. And how it's doing is that I have this app that I'm using to communicate using sounds. Um, and when I do start this, most of the time I don't recognize what's being said until I review the EVP sounds, right? I will write down on the screen everything that I, how I interpret it and how I hear it. Um, if you guys hear something that I don't, you are more than welcome to comment down below and, you know, maybe put the timestamp of what you heard or, you know, if you have any comments, just let me know. I'm going to be reading them. And so... Wait, before we start, I always forget to do this. I'm going to record this. Okay. All right. So I'm asking my spirit angels and guides to help me communicate with Alexis Ware and her energy. So to start, I'm going to ask to communicate with Alexis Ware. Okay, hold up. All right, here, let's start. Alexis, I would like to communicate with Alexis and her energy. Alexis, Ooh, there's a lot going on. Alexis, can you please let us know what happened? What happened to Alexis? Where is she? Can you please let us know, Spirit or Alexis? Why did you flee? Why did you run away? Why? Where did you go? Why? Can you please let us know why? Alexis, why did you left? Why did you flee? Alexis, who is that male energy that I picked up in your reading? Is 
Is that your lover or boyfriend or partner? Alexis, where are you right now? All right, thank you so much, Alexis and Spirits, for communicating with us. I appreciate it. We're going to go now. Bye. Okay. So I'm going to be reviewing. I'm going to be reviewing the reading, and I'm going to see what... Um, would I interpret? Would I understand? And thank you guys for watching. If you like the EVPs, if you like the tarot reading, if you like the true crime, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and until next time, love, Queen of Wands.